ni ujo hapo dineta mara um para mim é distinguished staff member my president of our class <laughs> the vice president madam itangi my colleagues and you must help koinchana okay it's my pleasure and favor to stand in front of you to present the country profile Tanzania country profile for the other time i understand there's also an opportunity Marco? I'm Sanda. Thank you very much. Okay, I say it's my favor and pleasure to present to you for the other time my country profile. I understand it's also an opportunity to share with you our culture, values, and opportunities in my country. And I'm sure that I'm talking with the leaders from the world because of the unified here from different areas and you are the government officers and leaders so i understand it's an opportunity okay let me go straight this is tanzania this is tanzania it's found in africa when you go in africa tanzania is from east africa of course tanzania is more west than from here korea it's a little bit big. Its capital city is nowadays called Dodoma. When you go in Tanzania for the first time, there are two main important distinguishing features. One is the mountain Kilimanjaro, which is the highest mountain in Africa, but it's the fourth mountain in the world. But also it is distinguished by the wildlife national parks. Of course, we have a lot of wildlife national parks which are rich the national parks which are rich with a lot variety of wildlife covering almost all of the parts of the country as i said one of the distinguishing features is mountain kilimanjaro this is mountain kilimanjaro is the fourth mountain from everest which is from our friends nepal and china nepal i would now don't know whether it's in nepal or china but it's in asia but we have Aconcagua in South America, we have then Nal in North America, and we are the fourth. It's a beauty mountain, and you see a little visible in this way when you are in across. National parks, these are some of them beautiful lions, elephants, we have giraffes, we have virinos, we have the beautiful birds like the way you see. And we have our fellows here. There are a variety of them in our national parks. They are available in Tanzania. Okay? Yeah. Again, we have these, uh, we, we call them predators. These, almost others also are predators, but we have the key predators in our national parks. Identify the hyenas the real parts, big cats, cheetahs, reptiles like Agama lizards and the crocodiles. And they have been seen like the way you see. To Africa now. Tanzania is obtained in East Africa, as I said before. And is we call it as a country within the African Greek the Lake Victoria. These are greater lakes. We have Lake Tanganyika like in here. And we have also Lake Nyasa down here. We have other lakes in the middle, like Lake Manyara. We have a lot of lakes there. And they are all sources of water. So we call it is a great uh, region, Lake Zone. It is situated in southern of the equator, composed of Tanzania the mainland, and Zanzibar, with around 120 ethnic groups here available and living there. The major language the Swahili and the English. We are bordering with our friends, Kenya and Uganda in the north. Also, we, are, we have these guys from Brunei and Rwanda. 
We are bordering with the Democratic Republic of Congo in the western part. Currently, they have been also involved in the East Africa community. Yes. We are bordered with the Mozambique, Belgium, Romandos, brothers of our southern part. Also, we are bordered with the Zambia and Malawi. But in the east, we have the ocean, Indian Ocean. Mountain Kilimanjaro is the distinguishing feature, as I told you before, is in this place, at the eastern part, eastern, uh, northeastern part of the country. Governance, we are, uh, the United Republic of Tanzania is a democratic country, and it's a free, peaceful country ever. And we, since we, uh, we got independence, we have these kinds of leaders, 60 phases now. And the current one is this madam here. Fly on. <laughs> <laughs> this one was the founder of the, the nation, passed away. His wife is still alive. This one is the second president, still alive. And his wife is still alive. This one is the third one, passed away. His wife is still alive. This one is the fourth president, is still alive, and his wife is still alive. This man passed last year, his wife is still alive. I told you before, uh, if you have been there in uh, like 20, 10 years, you can experience that the capital city was Dar es Salaam. Now we shifted. We shifted to the middlest part of the country, which is the Doma now. Due to the factors like the population growth, maximum population growth in this area, but also uh, distance factor. This is in the eastern part of the country. So we decided to shift to the middle part of the country. National symbols are many. The first one is national flag, comprising with four colors. We have green color, yellow, black, and blue. And it was adapted from the combination flags of Tanganyika and Zanzibar by then in 1964. The yellow color represents the minerals. We have minerals in Tanzania. The black color represents us, people, that we, the residents of there are black. And the blue color represents the natural resources we have, like what Indian, ocean, uh, rivers, uh, etc. The second thing is giraffe. Giraffe is identifying Tanzania. It's, an, it's a Tanzanian animal. It is implicating these things like the vision and quality still viewing the past and present, increase the understanding by viewing life from all angles, use the strength and flexibility to align the physical, mental, and spiritual as the giraffe do. This is exceptional thing as a national symbol, but we have it in Tanzania. It is called the Uhu torch. I don't know whether others will have the same. But we have a Uhu torch which always rises every year. And there is the Uhu torch race which is governed in all regions in the country every year. Even now, it is the race is proceeding there. It was, of course, inaugurated since we got independence. And it was the first day for inaugurating this Uhu torch. It shines. Uh, to the country and across borders to bring hope, love, respect, freedom, unity, and peace. Once it shines, it brings these things. We have national anthem, which mentions Africa. Tanzania is among those countries which received independence, more area uh, in Africa. So our national anthem also regarded the independence nature. So we are, the, our national anthem is mentioning Africa, that God should bless Africa and independence. But also, currently, our version of our national anthem has been adapted to different countries, like South Africa, who got independence after Tanzania, and also Zambia and Zimbabwe. This is the last core one. It's another national symbol that has many descriptions. But all in all, they are describing Tanzania. Nyanga is the northern part. Of course, the good thing is also these minerals have been distributed almost all over the country. So we can say the country, uh, the country is covered with this, a lot of natural resources and the minerals also are rich. So this is the northern part of the country. Iron is obtained in the southern part of the country, southern highlands. 
and it's also potential map the place where I born. Yes, I born in the iron area. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Call is obtained also in Songea near my place where I born. My friend Ruben is the home paint places in this area. Oh, diamond, diamond. Yes. Even though he was not, he was not uh, originated from here. Now his father was a government director. So he born in the middle part of the country, which is the capital city now. Mm. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Nickel also is obtained in the western part of Tanzania. You can see this variation now. We have Tanzanite. Tanzanite is only obtained in Tanzania, no ever any place in the world. It is sweet to see, also it is uh, very, very, very economical. It's very nice uh, uh, resource in our country. It's obtained in a place called Arusha. You can hear one day, you can go there. Uranium also we are producing, we have also in Italy. Socializing at the coffee houses and visiting friends and relatives are important social customs we have there in our country. And the current popular musicians in Tanzania, have you heard about this man? He's yeah. called Diamond. Yeah. Yes, he's presenting us, of course. He's not uh, educated. But not only in East Africa, now he's... In the world. Yes, he's impacting this man. He has not been to school, but he's good talented. This is another guy who's presenting us also. He's called Akiba, of course. Maybe this could be the end. <laughs> I tried to show this picture. It's also representing 